The boat fire exploded so quickly off Santa Barbara's coast, the sheriff says there was likely no chance of escape for the 34 victims now presumed dead. The Mayday call came in from five survivors. I can't breathe. All members of the Conception taking a dinghy to Bob Hansen's boat. There are some things you can't unsee. I mean, I was like, I don't know if I'll ever forget the sight of that boat burning. Switching from a search to a recovery mission today, what was left of the dive boat has now sunk to the ocean floor. Among the missing, a California family of five with three daughters who love to dive. Sherry McDonough just arrived from Cincinnati to identify her daughter Allie, the one crew member who died below deck. Never thought I would ever have to go through this. The Conception was wrapping up a weekend dive trip like this one when the blaze apparently trapped those sleeping in these tight quarters. The 75-foot boat has three levels. Five crew members were on the top deck when the fire broke out on the second deck in or around the galley. The 33 passengers and one crew member below deck with no way out. The sleeping quarters had an entrance by the bow and a safety hatch toward the stern. At this point, is the thought that fire was blocking both entrances to the sleeping yeah, quarters? That would appear to be what happened. By the time it was discovered, the fire was in such a state that it was it had essentially um, fully engulfed that area. With no cause for the fire, tonight the conception, perhaps holding answers at the bottom of the sea. With 20 bodies recovered, investigators are still combing the waters behind me looking for the missing. It may be some time until we know the cause of the fire. We also spoke to a former passenger who has been on board in those cramped quarters before. He said he can't imagine a scenario in which anyone would have been able to make it off that boat alive.